Hi, it's me. Today I'm going to pick up my friend Tom and we're going to do something cool. I've been reading Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality and each chapter describes a way in which they've made their lives exciting and mythical. Me and Tom thought it would be fun to do a few chapters in our own way for this video. So here are our seven favourite chapters of Mythicality. He'll tickle your foot. Oh no. Are you ticklish? Yeah. He's got really soft little grips. He's gonna tickle your feet. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna kick him. Good. You way. mustn't. You've got to resist. Oh, my feet are tingling. Where are you going? That's not the bowl. The bowl's over here. Wrong way. It's your bowl. Come on. <laughs> oh, he sees it. He's like, there's my buddy. There's my friend. He made it. I'm so proud of you, Casper. I love you, Casper. Oh, Lemon Boy. Tom just reviewed my album. He said that it is the best thing he's ever heard in his life. And that he wishes he would die right now so that he could die in happiness and peace because he's finally listened to the, the only thing that's going to ever make him happy ever again. Uh, and right now he's doing a little wee in the toilet and when he comes out we're gonna go and find pumpkins because uh, it's the spooky Halloween season and we're gonna get all festive, we're gonna get spooky, we're gonna... Oh, the lights keep going out, sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video, I hope it's gonna be good. Oh, someone, uh, the... Just a disclaimer, the chapters in this aren't gonna be in any particular order, it's just the order we did them in. Um, so here's the first one that we did on the first day. We got our hands dirty. Some olives and a big pumpkin, and I just got I got a little pumpkin, and mine was 199 pounds. That YouTube um, revenue. If you want to be like me, if you want to be flexing like me, get on YouTube and get and get at least 200,000 subscribers, nerds. Then you can get a 199 pound pumpkin like me. Isn't that right? That's correct. <laughs> We're gonna carve some pumpkins. <laughs> this is my own version of eat pan because this doesn't look doesn't look anything like it. Ooh, he's done it. Pumpkin flavored snack. Mm mm. Yummy yummy. Where did it go? What'd you what'd you do with it? <laughs> He's got like a supernatural thyroid that's just glowing. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the way. I'm sugar. You only get five. No, that's it. <laughs> you just get five. <laughs> You're out of control, man. It's a small pod of pov. Small pod of pies, peas. <laughs> I'm painting the outline and then Tom's gonna colour it in like a little child. You know them, like, white, sort of see-through, like, axolotl things? Axolotls. Is that what an axolotl is? Yeah. <laughs> like the little fish thing that has arms. <laughs> yeah! Can you do an axolotl, please? Okay, I'll try. Can you give it people hands, please? Yeah.
No, he's crying. Why has he got a little bed? <laughs> <laughs> There's a street in Cambridge that is um, full of really weird and wild and wacky Asian places So we're gonna go down there and find things that we don't know what they are and then we'll eat them I have John Lil as opposed to Lil John I thought that the price tag was a hat Getting brighter, lace it getting louder. Said she said, shut up and kiss me. Oh. Right, we just went to the the crazy shop on in in my town, and we got some really weird things that we're scared of because the goal is to eat something that you're afraid. That's the scare. Eat something that scares you. This doesn't really scare me. It's just kind of intriguing. Coca Cola flavored chips. They smell so weird. <laughs> Whoa, they smell disgusting. like dumpster juice. <laughs> That's so gross. I was kind of expecting it to be fizzy for some reason. It's like when you burp when you've had Coca-Cola. Bad. They get a... Mm -hmm. These were kind of weird confused about this because we thought like gluten was like a kind of particle. Like it was like... I don't think gluten was a thing on it. Like, like you couldn't just have gluten. I thought it was just like in things. Mm -hmm. Like carbohydrates. You can't just have some carbohydrates. Or can you? I don't know. So we just found fried gluten. <laughs> oh, there's yours. <laughs> there's mine. It smells like a churro, kind of. It's really light. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like oil. It tastes like how you'd imagine, like, packing peanuts to taste. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for corn. We just saw this. It, it's just... I thought it would be like a candy, but it's, it says that it's just straight up... Whole ass Like corn. a whole sweet corn, just like a corn on the cob, and it's just like a vacuum sealed corn. Is it just corn? It's like chewy. Why is it like that? I don't like it. Why did they do that? I don't know which of these is worse. I have marinated eggs. Uh, Earth's marines. I'm almost certain that is not a food. That's an ingredient. Yeah, this is worse. I'm I am really scared of both of these. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this pigeon. There's something in his eyes. It's not They're a bit. Like... So that's sour pickled mustard. I'm I didn't sure. know, even know what mustard was. I thought it was just It was powder. seeds, isn't it? Seeds. Mustard seeds. Or well, maybe this is yeah. the plant that grows the seeds. Let's go for the eggs. Eggs first. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so scared. It's, I don't wanna. I'm scared. It's brown. I haven't questioned the fact it's brown. Yeah. Smell it. Doesn't, doesn't smell like much. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, no, wait for me. <laughs> bouncy. Ready? It's a bit strange. Mmm. It's making me twitch a bit. <laughs> it tastes like I've just bit into like a pig's foot. Like the fat. Or like the cartilage that they make gelatin out of. It's a good texture. It's not like uh It just, is pretty uh I'd just rather not eat it. It does look like testicles. Sour pickled mustard. It smells like a fish. <laughs> Why? It's bad. Tell me if you're gonna throw up. Mm, what up, bro? Mm, remember it's new. <laughs> it's just not nice. I think the problem with all these things, we don't know what to do with them. We're very stupid and we don't know how to prepare them so they all just taste disgusting and we're not used to them i'm sure if someone sh who knew how to cook that kind of food was like here's how you eat it we'd be like okay that's nice but it's just gross that's true except these these are just dead ass disgusting i'm just like sad <laughs> i just, just feel i just feel sad
The Lofta Compatibility Test. We'll do. The, we're gonna do this and see if we should. We're supposed to be friends. Done. We got. We got a few the same. What does that mean? <laughs> we're not saying you shouldn't be best friends, but we're saying that we hope you have a strong shared interest outside of comedy. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Guess it's over. Sorry. Um. Where are we going? To the Portland Arms to see Sandy Alex G. Who's that? Um, if you get a little bit further away. Tom is a super fan of, a fan of Alex G, and I'm a bit of a super fan of Pokemon. So I got this, and I'm gonna open it now. <laughs> Why is it so big? It's like a novelty card, but it's like, it's a textured one. I love it. Mm. Oh, it's like plastic. I didn't know the coins were plastic. My first of those two things. And here, we have the three evolutions. Ooh, you get your Charmeleon. Charmander, that's not the order, but that's the right order. There you go. Okay, and then we got a bunch of packs. We got a Steam Siege pack, a Sun Moon Burning Shadows, a Sun Moon Guardians Rising, uh, just Sun and Moon. Uh, burning another Burning Shadows, another Guardians Rising. Uh, we're gonna start with one of them. We're gonna start with this one because I decided just now, and I'll give away some codes later. Woo! Look at this fatty. Great start. Great start to the pack opening. So let's do let's do the next one. Let's do a Steam Siege one. I hope we get a break card because I haven't got a break card yet. Uh, I hope we uh, uh, I hope we get a break card. What the heck? Okay, we'll do a different one then. <laughs> Whatever. The rare is a, is a parasect. It's not not good. He can't do it. He's a fake. I did it. Oh, he did it. He's real. I already have him, but it's, it's, it's nice to have him. Uh, another one in my collection. Uh, I got him in Pokemon X. As did everyone else, you got Pokemon X. Because he's the shape of an X, and he starts with an X. That's why they call it that. But a Pokemon trivia for you. Uh, ooh, yeah. Another great, great pull. Very, very pleased. Uh, and we got nothing. We got him. A Ricorio, a little, a little hula dancing lady. What do you reckon, guys? Place your bets. Are we gonna get a good card? We got nothing. We got a Vanillux, a rare Vanillux, and a little ice cream. That wraps up today's uh, pack opening. These are our cool pulls that we got. We got two GXs. I say that's pretty nice, and one Hollow Zernia. I'm very pleased. And I don't have these GXs yet, so that's really great. I'll put them in my little binder. That's code 1, code 2, code 3, code 4, code 5, code 6, code 7, code 8. Yeah, th thank, you, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> for this chapter, we pretty much did exactly what Right and Link did in the book. We chose a direction and we cycled to see what we could find. It's raining a bit, so we're in Nero waiting for it to stop raining. Is it nice? It's alright. Look, it fits on my teeth perfectly. This is my talent. I think my talent is cool. Me 
just look like you've got one less teeth. The Manials can cap your tooth. Any words? Thank you, Tom, for helping me make it. Thank you for whoever piled that pile of sticks up ready, ready for us. That was a big help. Thank you to the cows for, for being there. And I hope that it's still here when I get when I come back next time. For this chapter, we decided to change it a bit. So I decided to pierce my ear instead of like cut my hair or something. Enjoy. Do you have any idea? Yeah, we gone done it. Do you guys like it? Do you think it's cool? Look at it. It Does looks it look very good? nice. It looks good. Eggs to make egg. Break a few eggs to make a leg. Break a few legs to make a leg. Break a few legs to make a leg. Break a few eggs. I learned from Gordon Ramsay that you don't break the root here, and that's how you can stop yourself crying. But I've tried that a few times; it doesn't work. So name and your number, and we'll get back to you. <laughs> We're making a time capsule. We've got this box. We're gonna put some things that are important right now. I'm gonna like hide it in my closet because uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to bury it in the college gardens. We could cycle somewhere and bury it. We could, I don't know. I would like to like find it at some point and I never look in my cupboard so I think we can just hide it at the top of my cupboard and I'll forget about it and then I'll find it when I like move out or something. It's only in like a year though. I'll be like, mom, I can't leave yet. I need to wait for my time capsule. <laughs> First of all, something very important to me a bag of cheese its because they won't be usable anymore very soon so I've got some old pine coins here in the future if I find them and then they they you can sell them for a lot they won't be worth it I'm they will I will be a millionaire I'm gonna put in this rock that I got from the Grand Canyon in Arizona well Tom like is just visiting so he doesn't have anything really I, like cheese cheese. Oh, I know I like my I like cheese cake. I Okay, we'll put a Sandy Alex G2 in it. How about you write a little letter? What sort of letter do I want to write? I'll also put these YouTube sunglasses <laughs> in. So I don't friggin' want to see them. I'm an oh, I'm a painter. It's always a good time. Can we just do some bullet points of things that exist right now? Cave Town is about to hit 200,000 square feet. Yeah, maybe by then. I will have lost all my subscribers. How sad, like, it says time capsule. It does. I have two Magikarps, and I'm gonna put them in it. And I'm gonna put this fake Pokemon Go pack full of fake cards in. Rob, when does Lemon Boy drop? There you go, that's the release date. I, so I might bleep it out, so it's a secret. It's a secret. And also, if I just if I if I'm lazy and I don't get out by then, then no one will be mad at me. Which moment card should I put in? Oh. All of them. I'll put this little Robin that I got out of a Kinder Egg. This little Robin figurine. Nothing happened ever. That's what's going on. <laughs> Nothing's ever happened. Right there. Um, I ca I love Casper, and he's my 
my best friend. I'm gonna put this picture of my cousin in, just because I found it. <laughs> I should put a USB stick with some beats in. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna go get a memory stick so we can put some, so we can put memories on it. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> mind if you're bald, but just make sure you're properly bald if you're bald, not like half ass bald. Yeah, go if you're gonna be bald, just be full bald. Mm-hmm, egg. And I hope that you're letting your hair do what it wants to do, rather than forcing it into a straight or whatever. Like Brian Stars. Yeah, I hope you're not a Brian Stars. Uh, I hope that you have a bit more facial hair. What do you hope that you I can? hope I have a hundred albums out. Whoa! <laughs> that's a lot of albums! I hope that Lemon Boy was a success when it was released, and that Everyone loved it, and you made a lot of money from it. I hope I can speak more than English. What language do you want to speak? Hindi. Ooh, why? Because my girlfriend's Indian, who speaks to her family. Oh, it's so wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, we're not dead. Mm -hmm. I hope um, Donald Trump was impeached. I hope we've killed off the rich. <laughs> Natural selection. Mm -hmm. Except for me, I hope I'm the only rich person. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you're allowed to be rich. Okay, thanks. No so that's our time capsule videos. We'll How put them on the memory stick and pop it in the box. I'm gonna laugh at my hair in some years. Yeah, I'm excited to do that. Our time capsule is complete. That was good. It, it worked. Let's bury it in the cupboard. Let's bury it in there forever and ever. And then it'll be exciting when I find it and I'll make another update video. Gotta be at least five years. Time capsule? Complete. Yes. Tom is gonna make up a dance move. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> he's ready. I'm thinking. Oh man. <laughs> What's it called? It's called the doof. The doof. Do the doof. Do the doof. Oh man. Submit your videos of you Submit. doing the doof. Wait, isn't a doof like a. Oh, that's a doof, never mind. Like a. <laughs> D O U F E. It's French. That's like. <laughs> it's French. Well, it's so submit your videos of you doing the, the doof uh, to my Twitter at Cavetown with two T's or to Tom at Ghostbusters VHS and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll retweet our favourites. Keep on doofing. Keep on doofing, and we'll spread this dance dance move across the nation. It's gonna sweep sweep, yeah, sweep the let's nation. Let's try and get people from twenty countries doofing. Even around the world challenge. It's really like you get into it. It's like swinging back and forth. Thanks for doofing. Thanks for doofing, guys. Keep it up. Keep up the doofus. We kind of combined two chapters for this one, somewhat. So we're just inventing a sauce slash experimenting with uh, ingredients. Uh, what are we doing? For our experiment, we're gonna make a sauce. We're just gonna make it up as we go along. Um, these are our ingredients. We've got onion, which I'm doing first because that takes longest to cook. And we've got quinoa, which is like a nice little grainy grain. Uh, we've got some tomato sauce. We have red kidney beans and we have Peanut butter, which might be a weird ingredient for some. Peanut butter is good in everything. But yeah, peanut butter is great in everything. So we'll make a peanut tea sauce and we're gonna mix it up with some spaghetti.
give me your verdict. Good. It's like tomato -y peanut butter. It's really, really nice. I'll put the ingredients in, in, in the instructions down below if you want to try out this uh, this vegan like chili. It's kind of vegan. It has honey in it, even though may, maybe some vegans like to eat honey still. But and that's it. That's the video. I'm not a vlogger, so I didn't think to end the video properly, so I'm doing it now. Although this isn't exactly the end, because one chapter that I didn't expect to really do was risk your heart for an animal or something. It's something like that. Lots of you know that I have a chameleon called Casper, who is my best friend, and I love him so much. Um, and he's been going through some health problems, which we've been trying to fix for about nearly a year now. Uh, it's been really stressful, um, and we hadn't really found any answers um, until now. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little update on what's going on. On our way, cycling to get lost, I got a phone call from the vet. Uh, he'd had surgery to remove a lump that was growing on his eyelid. Um, I suspected it was reptile papillomavirus, which is very rare. It, it wouldn't kill him, but it, it's, it would basically, since it was on his eye, it would make it hard for him to see his food and uh, he might not be able to eat, which is why that we were removing it. And they did a biopsy on it and I got the results in that phone call. And it turned out it wasn't papillomavirus. Casper uh, has skin cancer, which... Um, yeah, I was not expecting it. It was a huge shock. He's here with me now. You can see his little eyes are uh, looking crispy, crusty. He's my little crusty crab. We're keeping an eye on it. There is an option to do like a chemotherapy that you inject into the tumor, but I don't want to put him through that. He's an animal. He doesn't know. Like with a human, you can explain this is what you need. You need uh, this treatment to survive, but he'd just be miserable and he's doing all right now. He's He's still eating, he's still drinking, uh, he's still clambering, he's still being his good, good little boy. So we're just making him comfortable. If it turns out eventually that he can't see, the lump on his eye is growing again. It was removed, but it's growing again. He still has the stitches and you might be able to see. Um, but it's if it becomes clear that he's miserable and he can't eat properly or anything, then, you know, we'll have to consider that. I, I just love taking care of things and I've I've been taking care of Casper for nearly three years. I've been dealing with like this guilt of like not knowing what was wrong with him and thinking that I was doing something wrong with taking care of him. Um, but there was nothing I could do. Uh, with, with even like with human cancers it do, you can't do anything. It's just bad luck basically. I truly have risked my heart for this animal. I just put my whole heart and soul into this stupid little lizard. So for the for risk your heart for an animal chapter, we find out my chameleon has cancer, which is um, a little bit of a downer from the rest of the video, but that's, that's life, that's where it is. And he's He's doing okay. He's he's not. He doesn't seem to be in pain at the moment, which is good. Which is all I really care about. He's a good boy. Yeah, you might have noticed earlier in the video his eyes were looking crazy, lumpy, bumpy, um, and his tail was black, which was um, it's going away now. He had one another lump removed down here, and that caused a bit of a, a bit of nerve damage. But that's fading away slowly but surely, isn't it, Caspi? Who's my handsome boy? He's still being himself, which I'm really happy to see. But just to update you guys, I, I don't know how long we have left with him. Uh, but I'm making most of every second. <laughs> I wasn't, like, commissioned by Mythical Entertainment to, like, promote their book or anything. I just love the book. And I thought it would make a good, a good fun structure to a video to go through a few of my favorite chapters. I definitely recommend you go check out the book. They have an audiobook too on Audible, and I, I listened to that while I was reading through it. I'm not that great at reading, so that was helpful to like have someone reading it to me. And there's a bunch of like cool Easter eggs in the audiobook as well that you don't get 
in the text version. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out their new book. Um, I'm super proud of my boys R and L, the the good the ma- the good mans, uh, for for making this book, and uh, it's a really cool book. Uh, also, I recommend doing this same kind of thing: read the book and go and choose your favorite chapters and have a good fun time with your friend. Casper loves every single one of his fans. He loves everyone, so he just wanted to let everyone know that. Much love from me and Casper. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. I'm trying a weekly upload schedule now, every Sunday. So wish me luck with that. I'm trying. Uh, hopefully it goes good. If you want to see the video on a Thursday, so before the rest of YouTube, um, you can become a patron. For just $1 a month, you get to see my videos a few days early. I don't know if that's something you're interested in. You don't have to do that. But that's an option if you if you would like to do that. So there's a link in the description for that. But yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. Have a nice time. Goodbye. <laughs>